Today I'm exploring the really extraordinary Pitsanger Manor Museum. I love this place. I love it historically and personally because I've got a very personal connection to the building, which I'll share with you in just a moment. Now, this is the grand formal entrance to the house, and of course you might expect that I choose to go up these extremely elegant stairs, but I'm not going to. Um, and there's a very particular reason for that, is that I spent hours and hours and hours here as a child, because just over here there's a door into a space where I learned to read. So this door here has all been restored as part of the recent refurbishment of the building. Uh, but when I came here, there was a lovely uh, stone inscription at the top that simply said, reading room, because this was Ealing's library. You know, it's genuinely quite emotional coming back here um, because what went on in this room made so much of a difference to, to me as a person and to my life. Uh, so this, as I said, was the Ealing um, Public Lending Library and this is where I would come every week to get books and it's where I learnt to read and I, and I remember it so vividly. Um, I remember it's this very sort of subdued, warm, kind of safe, atmosphere. Um, there were always men here, I remember, very elegantly dressed. I think they probably, I don't know, they might even have suffered from the Second World War. They're very kind of dapper and they used to eke out their entire day by reading the newspapers that were available here. It was obviously somewhere warm to be, somewhere that they could read um, uh, and somewhere that they had dignity. So I, so I really loved coming here. I remember it so vividly. I can, coming back, I can remember the smell and everything. And then actually, when I had kids of my own, I brought them here as toddlers and, and we used to call this the dancing room, it wasn't a library by then. And I sort of, in that kind of early mum thing when you're desperate to find things to do, we used to dance here for hours and hours almost every day. So, so it nurtured me as a child and nourished my life um, and it was somewhere that was inspirational for my children too. Uh, so it must have been Soames eating room but I love it for different reasons. In um, every corner of this place, there, there are old friends to me from the classical world. So up there, that's Minerva, uh, the goddess of wisdom, who of course was Athena for the Greeks and Minerva for the Romans. And I, I love the fact that often deities of wisdom in any civilization are female. Uh, and I love the fact that wisdom is being honored here. In fact, in every corner of this house, uh, there are classical references. So John Soane absolutely loved the Greek and the Roman worlds. Um, he went on what was called the Grand Tour. So he went to Rome, to Naples, he climbed up Mount Vesuvius, he went to Sicily. And the, the fantastic thing though about John Soane is that he wasn't posh. So he was the, the son of a bricklayer. And he really got where he was through his skill and his dedication and his craft and his genius. And I think he was a, a truly brilliant man. So he got into debt going on the Grand Tour, but it was very important for him to go and see what he said is you should see everything with your own eyes. You know, you should experience things for yourselves. He met all kinds of people on the way. Actually met a lot of women who uh, he really respected, the female educationalists. And I like that about him. I like the fact that he had strong female friendships as, as well as male friendships. So he would go to all these places and he'd come back with his head full of ideas and inspiration, his sketchbooks uh, full of images. Mm -hmm. 
So he designed this beautiful space. I think it's wonderful that it's being rescued from decrepitude. And just as for him, education was incredibly important, he really wanted to kind of pass it on, to pass on inspiration for, for all kinds of people to be inspired by his ideas and by the possibilities of, of beauty and dedication and, and craft. And in a rather lovely way, this house now delivers on his original inspiration and promise. So I feel very nourished and inspired when I come here. Um, so if you get a chance, come here so that you can derive your, your own inspiration and ideas from this really wonderful place.